Welcome to Adult YPWW, Lesson 7. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's lesson text is coming out of Proverbs chapter 1, verses 10 and 15. Today's topic is TV and the media, teen pressure to engage in sex. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 10 and 15. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. The memory verse for today's lesson. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And that's Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. The introduction says, Sexuality and the Media. About 10 years ago, I was watching an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. In that particular episode, the Star Trek search team visited a planet whose culture was totally dominated by their sexuality. Sex was freely and openly ex and expressed in public. These human-like individuals greeted the search team with long, passionate kisses. On this planet, sexual activity was performed between casual acquaintances and multiple sex partners was part of the normal daily routine. This planet was depicted as a stable, healthy, happy, and vibrant society. Every inhabitant was a picture of youthful health and vigor. The inhabitants were carefree, worry-free, and above all, disease-free. The discussion says, the media, especially television, is one of the most powerful tools of influence in our society. After over 15 years of studying the effects of TV viewing, one leading researcher has concluded that a growing number of people believe they are what they see on TV. Studies have shown that TV can affect how people perceive themselves and how they view the world around them. Prime time TV distorts reality. Viewers of prime time TV tend to accept these false images that they see on TV more readily than reality itself. The pressure that the media puts on young people to engage in sex is tremendous. Research shows that the average teenager sees about 9,230 sex acts on TV per year. By the time an individual reaches 20, he or she has seen more than 92,000 sex acts on TV. As research has shown, TV depicts a gross distortion of the real world. TV and the media do not often show the consequences of casual sex. In real life, sexually transmitted diseases are destroying our society. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 35 to 40,000 people are infected with a sexually transmitted disease every day. It has been estimated that about one out of every four Americans between the ages of 15 and 55 will eventually acquire a sexually transmitted disease. Even in the midst of this nation's sexually transmitted disease epidemic, TV and other media forms continue to glamorize the lifestyle that leads to the spread of sexually transmitted disease. The Star Trek depiction of the healthy, happy humanoids who engage in sinful sexual relations is a typical misrepresentation of the real life facts. 
The image that is presented to our youth is that you can have all the immoral sex you desire without the consequences. Of the 92,000 sex acts seen on TV by the average 20 year old, very few depict the true life consequences of sexual sin. About 3 million teenagers contract a sexually transmitted disease every year. More than 1 million teenagers between the ages of 15 through 19 become pregnant. Nearly 50% of these pregnancies end in abortion. How often does TV depict the emotional turmoil of a 12-year-old girl who has lost her virginity? How often does TV portray the true agony and trauma of a 15-year-old who has had an abortion? How often are babies born with birth defects due to sexually transmitted diseases shown on TV? In life, according to TV, no one pays the price for sexual sin, but the Bible teaches that the wages of sin is death. And that's Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The conclusion says, peer pressure. Peer pressure is another major reason that teenagers engage in premarital sexual intercourse. In the teenage years, there is a strong desire to be accepted and liked by one's peers. We must begin to stress to our teens that one, it is all right to be different, and two, in living for Christ, you must learn to deal with being unpopular. Do you want to remain a virgin? You are not alone. More than 100 teenage girls, age 16 or younger, were asked by an Emory University professor what they wanted to learn in sex education. 84% of them answered how to say no without hurting the person's feelings. The questions for today's lesson, and you can search the scriptures on your own. Question one, as a Christian, where do we get the strength to resist negative peer pressure? Number two, should Christians view rated R movies? Number three, does the way Hollywood portrays sex affect the way we feel and think about the opposite sex? Number four, should parents place a time limit on how much TV their children are to watch? Number five, why should parents carefully monitor what TV programs are being watched in their homes? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.